earlier today, they knocked off the Houston Dash one to nothing. Jaden Shaw, 57th minute goal. Casey Stoney, remember, she was not coaching. She was not allowed to coach because she got a red card in the last match. I didn't agree with the red card. I don't think a lot of Wave fans agreed with the red card. Um, you know, the ball was coming right at her. She was sitting on her cooler and she wasn't like trying to kick it down the field. She just kicked it a little bit and there was no warning, no yellow card, just immediate red card. So I disagree with that. But um, the Wave coaching staff, obviously, it, it was fine. And one nothing doesn't seem like if, if you didn't watch the game, oh, they didn't really dominate. But I mean, they dominated. Someone that, you know, got a great view of the game, obviously, on. For me, at least, on field level. Great crowd, by the way. Over 20,000 fans showed up. The World Cup Welcome Back match. The Great Bucket Hat. There's the uh, women's or girls youth soccer tournament going on where they all got to go to the game. So a lot of fans showed up. So it was great to see. But just look at the the stat, the comparison between San Diego, between San Diego and Houston. 32 shots for San Diego, six shots for Houston, uh, 12 shots on target for San Diego, zero shots on target for Houston. So like the possession, 61% for the Wave, 39% for Houston. 480 passes for the Wave, 317 for Houston. Like it was, it felt pretty dominant for San Diego. And there were some opportunities for Alex Morgan. There were some pretty good shots. So, uh, one nothing doesn't seem like that's the most encouraging thing, but I take it as an encouraging win. And they got Kansas City coming up on September 16th. That's at home, so you can get your tickets on San Diego Wave's website. Um, and now it was a huge three points because San Diego entered the day, I believe, in second, two points behind Portland, who ended up uh, not getting a win in their match this weekend. And now, if you look at the NWSL table, San Diego has gone in front of everyone. And they've won three games in a row. They're at 30 points, first place. They were in sixth, like a matter of, what, a week, a couple weeks ago? That's how close this is. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the uh, top six here, who the playoff teams are, because there's a race there between uh, Washington, Racing Louisville, Angel City. Get their Orlando in there as well to get like that final playoff spot. And San Diego, they were sixth, just hanging hanging around, but three wins in a row. Now they're at the top. Portland lost, so they're at 29 points still. No Sophia Smith for them. North Carolina's three. Ola Rain is fourth. Gotham fifth. And then Washington Spirit is sixth. So San Diego... It looked like maybe they weren't going to be able to host a postseason match. Now, they, they could if they got the NW, NWSL championship game, right? Because that's obviously at Snapdragon, regardless of if the Wave are playing in it or not. But uh, now, at least in this position, they would get a bye, and then they'd host a playoff game. So that was a big three points. And again, shout out to the crowd. It was a great crowd pretty great atmosphere um, and I thought that this was a, a pretty dominating match from San Diego obviously Kalen Sheridan was great so it was a good it was a good day in, in San Diego loyal one Padres win win three games in a row obviously Friday Saturday Sunday and the wave got a win